In today's video, I will be continuing my realistic offseason rebuild series going in order of the real life draft picks in the first round. The Pittsburgh Steelers have the number 20 pick, so today we'll be rebuilding them. The Steelers have decided to sign Arthur Smith as their offensive coordinator. For that reason, we're switching to the Atlanta Falcons playbook since that's technically his playbook from last season. It's going to be a West Coast zone run and we're setting an 86% scheme fit on that. And also we're sticking with the default Pittsburgh Steelers defensive playbook, which is a base 3-4 and we're 100% scheme fit on that. The latest update on Madden franchise has it at the Super Bowl week without the game actually being played, so that'll force the Chiefs to win the game. That's why the score is incorrect, but all the other teams and scores AC are correct, so the draft order is gonna be realistic like in real life. This rebuild will be starting right after the Super Bowl is over. I will be using a realistic draft class. As you can see, we have Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, Drake May, Marvin Harrison Jr., and all the other players that are coming out of college in real life to be in the draft this season. I spent a lot of time going through and updating the roster to be what it is in real life. Realistically, we saw that the Steelers signed Russell Wilson. They also traded for Justin Fields, and they no longer have any other quarterback that was on the team last year. We still have Najee Harris. Let's see, we got Van Jefferson, they signed him. Offensive line is not looking the greatest. I mean, it's not extremely terrible, but they could definitely use the upgrade at center and left tackle. Defensively, they signed Patrick Queen, so I have him on the team. They also traded for Deshaun Elliott, or no, they signed him in free agency, something like that. It's gonna be our starter at free safety. They did trade for Dante Jackson, the cornerback. They traded Deontay Johnson, the wide receiver, for him. We're here in the first round of the draft. I simulated to our pick, which is number 20. We still have some quarterbacks available here. And we have Graham Barton available at center. We definitely need to do something at center because that's pretty much the weakest point on the team at the moment. Nate Wiggins here, Cooper DeGene. There's wide receivers. Could definitely use help at tackle, wide receiver, a third cornerback, but I think that the biggest need is center, so I'm going to draft Graham Barton from Duke. He's 6'5", 313 pounds. He's an agile scheme fit. He is 21 years old. He has good acceleration, good agility, elite change of direction with solid jumping speed and strength. He has a lot of age, so hopefully he's going to be good. He has hit and dev, 85 strength. That's good to see. Here in the second round, wide receiver Xavier Leggett is still available. I'm definitely going to draft him. He's from South Carolina, 6'1", 221 pounds. He's a deep threat. 23 years old. He has elite acceleration, solid agility, good change of direction, great jumping, great speed, and great strength. He's got hit and dead with 94 speed. In the third round now, we definitely need to get a third cornerback on the team. So I'm going to draft DJ James from Auburn. He's six foot, 175 pounds. He's a man-to-man -man scheme fit. He has a lot of B's around, that looks good. So he's 23 years old. Elite acceleration, good agility, great jumping, good speed. He's got normal dead with 92 speed. He's most likely gonna be our third string corner because I think the current third stringer we have is like 61 overall. We need to try to do something at left tackle. So I'm gonna take a chance on this right tackle, Delmar Glaze from Maryland. He's 6'4", 315 pounds. He's an agile scheme fit. 23 years old, he has solid acceleration, great agility, elite change of direction with good speed, decent strength. He's got normal dev with 84 strength. So if his overall is 71 or higher, then he's gonna be starting for us. If not, then he's gonna be a backup another fourth round pick here i'm going to take a chance on this wide receiver malik washington from virginia he's 5'8 191 pounds he's a playmaker scheme fit 23 years old he has great acceleration solid agility good change of direction elite jumping with good speed he's got normal dead with 91 speed i simulated the rest of the draft picks we drafted center graham barton in the first round he's a 73 overall it's a little lower than i was hoping for but he's going to be starting for us right away as a rookie 21 years old with hidden dev. He has 85 strength, 80 run block, 83 pass block, 65 awareness. Second round, we drafted wide receiver Xavier Leggett from South Carolina. He is a 74 overall. He does have hidden dev, 94 speed, 94 acceleration with 79 catching, 80 catching traffic. Third round, we got cornerback DJ James from Auburn. He's a 72 overall. So that means he's gonna be starting for us right away in the slot. 92 speed, 74 man coverage, 74 zone coverage. The rest of the guys are most likely just going to be backups for us. This is our official starting lineup for the season. Russell Wilson's going to be the starting quarterback. The Steelers have announced that and said that Justin Fields will be backing him up. 
Russell Wilson's a 79 with star dev. Justin Fields is a 76 with star dev. Najee Harris at running back is a 83 with superstar. And then Jalen Warren is a 81 with normal dev as a backup running back. George Pickens is going to be our number one receiver. 83 overall with star dev. Xavier Leggett, the rookie, is going to be starting for us in the slot. 74 overall with hidden dev. Van Jefferson, 77 overall with normal dev. is going to be our number two receiver. Prior move that tight ends, 83 with star. Jones at right tackle is a 73 with star. Daniels at right guard, 76 with star. The rookie center, Barton, 73 with hidden dev. is going to be starting for us right away. Siwamulo, Siwamalo, left guard, 80 overall with normal dev. And then more at left tackle, 71 with normal dev. Defensively, Cameron Hayward is 86 with X Factor. He's injured for one week, but this is the beginning of preseason, so we have three preseason games. Ben at defensive tackle is a 75 with normal. Ogan Joby at defensive end is a 75 with normal dev. Porter Jr. is going to be our number one corner. He's an 80 with star. DJ James is going to be starting for us as a rookie in the slot, 73, normal dev. Dante Jackson is going to be our cornerback, number two. He's an 80 with star. Mika Fitzpatrick at strong safety. He's in there for one week, but he's a 94 with superstar. TJ Watt, 96 with X Factor. Patrick Queen, 84 with star at middle linebacker. And then we have Holcomb as our second middle linebacker, 82 with normal dev. High Smith is an 88 with star dev. Other pass rushing outside linebacker. And then Deshaun Elliott's going to be starting for us at free safety with 79 with normal dev. For the season goal, I'm setting it to make the playoffs. I think the defense is built to win right now. It's basically just going to depend on how good of a season that Russell Wilson has in this offensive playbook. Midseason point, not looking so good. We're currently 2-4, and four, tied for the Browns for last in the division. The Bengals are 5-2, and two, the Ravens are 4-3. and three. But on the upside, we did start the season 0-4, so that means that we won our last two games. Let's go check out the season stats and see how we're doing halfway through here. Russell Wilson, 1,300 yards passing, 7 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, 63% completion with the 82 rating. Pretty terrible season from him, not going to lie. Najee Harris has 500 yards, 4.1 per carry with 3 touchdowns. Not too terrible. Receiving George Pickens, 400 yards, 4 touchdowns. Fryer moved 350 yards, 1 touchdown. Defensively, Cole Holcomb's leading the team with 47 tackles. Sacks, Highsmith has 6.5, TJ Watt has 5.5, so they're actually getting pretty decent sack production. Then we got three guys with one interception. We're here at week 9, and it said that we had a new injury, and it looks like TJ Watt's going to be out for one week with a broken finger. We also are going to be losing Demonte KZ for three weeks with a torn labrum. And then our number one receiver, George Pickens, is out one week with a broken finger as well. End of the regular season, finished seven and ten, dead last in the division. Terrible season, did not make the playoffs. Obviously, I was simulating week by week, and nothing interesting happened. We didn't have any players of the weeks. We didn't have any breakout opportunities at all. Usually, I have at least one or two, but we had zero. The Bengals won the division with a 13 and four record. The Ravens won 11 and six, and the Browns won eight and nine. Let's check out these season stats. Russell Wilson, 3,800 yards passing, 22 touchdowns, 20 interceptions, 66% completion with the 88 rating. His rating got a little bit better the second half of the season, but that's still just not a good season. That's way too many interceptions. Najee Harris had a crap load of carries, 321 with 1,200 yards, 4 yards per carry with 7 touchdowns. Jalen Warren barely had any carries at all. Still had 5 touchdowns rushing though. Pat Fryer moved to tight end, led the team in receiving yards with 942. He also had four touchdowns. Van Jefferson, 800 yards, four touchdowns. George Pickens, 800 yards with four touchdowns. It says that he played in 14 games, so he had missed three games with injury. Calvin Austin, 450 yards, three touchdowns. Xavier Leggett, 300 yards with two touchdowns. Why did he barely get any targets? He's supposed to be our third receiver in the slot. I guess it's just a Falcons offensive playbook. Patrick Queen led the team in tackles with 113. Cole Holcomb had 110. Alex Highsmith had 15 tackles for loss. Ogan Joby had 13. TJ Watt had 12. Sacks, TJ Watt had a big 15. Cameron Hayward had 10. Nice. Alex Highsmith had 9.5. Patrick Queen had 3. Ogan Joby had 2. Fence, uh, Mika Fitzpatrick had 1. Interceptions, Patrick Queen had 3. Dude had a crazy season. 113 tackles, 3 sacks, 3 interceptions as a middle linebacker. TJ Watt had 1 along with Fitzpatrick, Jackson, Elliott, Porter Jr., and DJ James, the rookie. 
The Chiefs beat the Vikings in the Super Bowl in a blowout, 42-7. Patrick Mahomes won Super Bowl MVP. Lamar Jackson won MVP of the regular season with the Ravens. Kyle Shanahan won Coach of the Year with the 49ers. Lamar Jackson won Offensive Player of the Year with the Ravens. Micah Parsons won Defensive Player of the Year with the Cowboys. Drake May won Offensive Rookie of the Year with the Buccaneers. Jeremiah Trotter Jr. won Defensive Rookie of the Year with the Eagles. This is what the final team is looking like. It looks like Justin Fields has gone over Russell Wilson and overall, so I would definitely roll with him going forward. Najee Harris is an 83 with Superstar. Pickens is an 83 with Star. Van Jefferson's down to a 76 with Normal. Leggett's a 77 with Star. Firemuth is an 85 with Star. Jones is a 75 with Star. Daniels is a 76 with Star. Barton's a 76 with Star. Suomalu is a 78 with normal and Moore is a 72 with normal dev. Defensively, Cameron Hayward dropped down to star dev. He fell fast. He was an X factor. He's an 83 overall. Benton's a 74 with normal. Ogan Joby's a 71 with normal. Porter's an 80 with star. DJ James is a 76 with normal dev. Jackson dropped down to normal. He's a 78. Fitzpatrick's a 94 with superstar. TJ Watt's a 95 with X factor. Patrick Queen's at 86 with star. Holcomb's at 83 with normal. Highsmith's at 88. He jumped up to superstar. I think he only had star dev before. I'm not 100% sure about that. Sean Elliott at free safety. 78 with normal dev. Russell Wilson's bad quarterback play is the reason why this team did not make the playoffs and they went 7-10. and 10. He had 22 touchdowns, 20 interceptions. Maybe the move would have been to go with Justin Fields, but I'm trying to keep it realistic and they're saying that Russell Wilson's going to be the starter. Obviously, that doesn't mean he's going to be the starter for the whole season this coming up year, but... You know, if he plays bad or gets injured, Justin Fields can get a chance. Well, that's going to be it for the video. If y'all like what y'all saw, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Say something down in the comments. Appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.